All right, so let's transition to Market Watch, Jeff. Okay, Market Watch this week. So what we do is we look at Dallas County real estate over the last seven days, and we kind of compare that week to week just so you can follow the market with us. And coming soon this week are down 5%. Now, coming soon is the first status that an agent can put their information into MLS. They don't have to put it in that status, but... Say you've got a sign in the yard, but you can't show it for a week. You've got to have it in MLS under the MLS rules. That's where it goes is coming soon. New active listings. This We had to do a double take on this. We had the exact same number of new listings this week in Dallas County as last. And then the number of homes that went into the option period was up 20% this week, um, up to 375 houses that went under contract last week. So the next status after the option period is... Uh expired basically and everything has been agreed upon we go into a pending status and this is up 23 and this is interesting because last week we were up eight so this is a nice trend that we're seeing what we are seeing though is solds are down and that is not anything that's alarming what we see is that typically last week would be the end of the month that's when the majority of uh closings happen first week of a month is really the slowest for closing so that's why it's down also last week we were up 39 percent, so that's a really big swing um, and then look at mortgage rates. Mortgage rates last week were 6.87. Today we're looking at right around 6.7. So that is a trend that we're seeing on the down. If you are thinking about doing something, this is the time to get with an aid, get with a lender and figure out what your long and short term financial goals are. This information was provided us by Optimal Blue. If you'd like to take a look at their website, you should. We're not sponsored them, but we do believe in their website and it has lots of great information.